This is why in salah we say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammadin. Kama sallayta ala. Why Ibrahim? Why not Nuh? Why not Musa? Ibrahim is something else. Allah Azza wa Jal did not give him a child until he was over 80. And his wife was barren. And he thought that, halas, this is Allah's qadr. This is Allah's will. Only to be blessed with Ismail when he was over 80. So imagine when your child is 14 years of age and you feel that he is there for you to take care of you when you're old. When you are not able to walk, you need the support. You need someone to back you up. Allah gives you this boy. And just when he was there for you, the command comes, the test comes. What? Slaughter him. It comes to you in a dream. But you know as a messenger that dreams of the messengers are revelations. You have no choice but to comply. What does he do? He puts him on the ground and says, Son, Allah tells me to slaughter you. Can you do this? Can you comply with such test? What does the son say? Father, do whatever you're ordered. I'll be among the patient. Don't worry. Just as he puts him down and he wants to slaughter him, Allah sacrifices him with a big ram from the heaven and says to him, you have complied. 